Well, good evening, everybody. Um, on behalf of the Hanukkah Law Firm, I'm happy to be with you all again this year to present this year's Company of the Year Award. Of course, all the stories of success that you've heard tonight are about local businesses. That's why we're here. But not all of those businesses, excuse me, have a local focus. We're proud of them because they've been born here, but we want them to reach beyond a region and show the world that we can build and grow great things in our own backyard. However, this year's Company of the Year is all about Anna. And it's appropriate because there's so much emphasis now on buying local to make sure we sustain our own economy. It's also appropriate because we and our rights are, after all, just a bit insular. We're convinced that there's just no better place to be. I sometimes, I sometimes think about us as prisoners of Ann Arbor because we'll suffer just about anything to enjoy the privilege of living in this special place. We're undeterred by bad roads, long, tough winters, and occasionally disappointing football scores because there are so many other good reasons to be here. The founders of tonight's awardee came to the same back in 1996. They saw opportunity in the fact that there would be competitors who were serving Ann Arbor, but not focused on Ann Arbor. And those founders exploited that opportunity with great success through solid management, impeccable execution, innovation, and an, and an unwavering devotion to that local focus. When it first opened its doors, this business had 15 employees in one location. Today, it has 148 employees in six locations with more on the way. And over that time, it has experienced not just steady, but accelerating growth. Since 1998, our awardee has improved the metric used in its industry to measure growth by nearly tenfold, with an increase of over 43% in just the last two years alone. Now this business is perhaps not as sexy as some we've heard about tonight. It hasn't developed a life-saving medical device or created yet another play on the social media frenzy. But it has proved that you can update an old business model and improve it by focusing locally, providing personalized service, growing the community while growing the bottom line, and having a bit of fun along the way. The 2012 Company of the, Year, Company of the Year is the Bank of Ann Arbor. Culture 
of service to community. And he practices what he preaches, serving on numerous nonprofits board, nonprofit boards, and helping to found and now chair Ann Arbor Spark. And he is a leader in his own field. He's been appointed to serve as the chair of the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago's Community Depository Institution Advisory Council. And for that reason, Tim unfortunately is not here this evening because he's hanging out with Ben Bernanke in Washington, D.C. Now that sounds pretty serious, but remember I mentioned that the Bank of Ann Arbor likes to have a bit of fun, which takes us back to those green billboards. They've sported over 100 headlines since the campaign began, and new ones are much anticipated. In fact, the unqualified marketing success of those billboards has led to an article in Forbes magazine and to more Facebook followers for Bank of Ann Arbor than J.P. Morgan Chase has worldwide. Now, now, my particular favorite, my particular favorite is um, is this one. Non-local bankers think Heathcheck is a typo. <laughs> And, and I have to admit that, that while I've lived here for the vast majority of life, even I don't get some of them, but as my colleagues will tell you, I, I don't get out much. <laughs> but perhaps the billboard heading that best typifies tonight's celebration of Company of the Year is, non-local bankers think community high is why we're feeling really good. <laughs> in no small part to the success of our great community bank, Bank of Ann And now we come to our final award of the night. 